Damn, buddy. My name is Scott. I'm with the Arizona Hot Tub Factory, and they call me the Spa Man. Approximately a year ago, I did a video showing how to get rid of an airlock with a plunger. That process works very well. But after reading several of the comments, I started realizing that I kind of shortchanged you guys because I didn't tell you the whole process that we go through prior to filling up the hot tub with water. And I think that might be the problem. So I'm going to show you the four things that we do to a hot tub before we fill up the hot tub with water and flip on the breaker for the first time. So I'm going to show these to you so that you'll see what I do and hopefully a lot of the problems with airlocks will go away completely for all my viewers. Thanks for watching. And if you could, hit the subscribe button down in the bottom left hand corner. Okay, this is the typical hot tub that I work on all the time. This is a Jacuzzi J335. The first thing I would tell somebody before they fill this hot tub up with water is take out the two filters, okay? What will happen is if the filters are in, it'll cause it to be kind of like suffocating the hot tub to where it's not getting the proper water going into those two tubes. So that would be the first thing I would do before I turn on the water. Okay, number two, you can turn the jets left, you can turn them right. One way closes them, one way opens them. Make sure that all the jets are open. If you close off this jet, this jet, this jet, and this jet, what happens is the water starts filling up and it gets so hot, the air cannot escape. So you want the air to escape as it goes up, otherwise you're gonna get an airlock. So that would be the second thing I would do, is make sure all the jets in the entire hot tub have been opened up, okay? Number three, this is the diverter valve. The diverter valve turns both ways. It's a 180. So what happens with this is the water comes up from the pumps and it can either go one way or it can go the other way. If you put it in the center, it's equally balanced to where the water can escape through the two lines that are underneath. This is approximately, it could be anywhere from a one and a half inch line to a two inch line. So if you close off one side, what happens is the, this side is opened up but the other side is closed off. That can cause an airlock also. So you definitely wanna make sure that that is right in the center before you go to fill up the hot tub. Okay, this one you don't need to do every time because there's not only one, two, and then there's one behind me, three, but this is, your, this is one of your siphons at the bottom. See all them little holes? See how you can see through them really good? You get little pebbles caught up in there. Little pebbles sometimes can work their way in and can get into the pump and it can ruin the pump. You want to clean these out periodically just so that water flows through them. I want to say 99.5% of everybody is not going to pull these things off. Even I don't do it that often. But I have to say there's been a couple times when we couldn't figure out why there was no flow in a jacuzzi and this was the problem. They were so clogged up with crap it was unreal. So. I'm also gonna put a, uh, a video that'll show just how clogged up they get. But definitely, every now and then, take these out and clean them, or at the very least, wipe off all the crap on the outside so that it doesn't get sucked up to the inside of the tub. That's what it looks like down there. Right down here, there's your suction filter. Look how all that crap is all in there right, right now. That is keeping your filtration from working. Okay, I'm now gonna go ahead and fill up this hot tub. And how I'm gonna do it, I've got a hot tub behind me that's full of water that I just, I'm just gonna transfer the water over from one hot tub to the other hot tub with my little giant pump. Um, that's probably the easiest way to do it because I really don't wanna fill this one up with really good water because I'm still working on a couple other things to do with this hot tub, but I at least wanna show you how we go about filling up a hot tub, whether it's with a hose or whether it's with a sump pump that, you know, because sometimes we will throw the sump pump into a swimming pool here in Arizona, and then we can fill up the hot tub really quick. So I'm gonna go about and I'm gonna show you how we do it from one hot tub to the next. Since I need to get the water out of this hot tub, and I wanna put the water in that hot tub to fill it up to show how 
to fill up a hot tub without an airlock, I'm going to use my submersible pump, my little, little giant pump, and I'm going to pump the water out. So what you do is you, I always grab onto the hose, stick that right in the hot tub all the way to the bottom. Take your hose. I've got a weight on the bottom of my hose, and I throw it so that it is over here, and I put it right in the hole. Okay, and then I've got a weight sitting there that'll hold it down at the same time. Plug it in. Voila! And you can see that pump pumps enough water through all this to where I am not going to get any kind of an airlock because I'm pumping the water through that hole down there, which is one of the filters, and it's pumping it around. Now I don't care if it's in there because I've already got all the water going through it and it's gonna pump like crazy. This should only take maybe, oh, maybe five, 10 minutes. Okay, we got the hot tub completely filled up with water. Now, I usually fill it up to about Oh, maybe the thickness of my finger or my thumb below the head cushion. And the reason why I do that is because when your body gets in it, the water will rise. So anyways, I think we're ready to fire it. Now, before you turn on the hot tub, there again, make sure your filters are out. Make sure your diverter valve is in the center. All your jets are open. Now, I happen to know all my jets are open because when I stuck the... Uh, sump pump with my uh, transfer hose into the uh, one side of the uh, where the filter goes it was blowing the water out of the uh, jets so it's just things that I do um, these little things make filling a hot tub that much more pleasurable so let's go ahead and see what this thing does when we hit the breaker okay let's go ahead and get this hot tub fired up breaker on Walk over here see where we're at it's already lit up. Filtration's already happening, and we've already got movement in the tub. Now, I always give it a couple seconds before I start playing with it. And the heat light is already on. Let's see what the heat's set to. The heat's set to 103, water temperature 89. Now, if I want to turn this heat light off, I can go down. go down below 89, the red light will go off. Okay, I'm down to 65. Red light went off. Everything's working. Jet one. Hot damn. It's fired up. Let's go to jet two. And there she blows. It's, it's a complete success. It's not hard to get your hot tub up and running. So we'll go back this way. We'll turn that one off. Turn that off. Go back up on our heat setting. So all we got to do, we'll go up to like 90 degrees. Red light should come on. The minute I get above 89. Well, 90 degrees. Should take a couple seconds. Red light will come on. Come on. Don't make a liar out of me. It must still be going through its test stage. Come on, baby. Lights working. So. Brought it up to 96 because 89 just might not be enough.
to hit the heat switch. Oh, there goes the red light. Red light came on. I think because it was 89 and I set it on 90 was the reason why the heat wouldn't come on. So anyways, I think this is a complete success. So. Well, I hope this video helped everybody out in understanding the different ways that you can A, fill a hot tub, and B, how to fix a airlock, and actually what causes an airlock. So I hope this video helped everybody. Uh, if these videos help you, please, in the right-hand corner, hit subscribe, share it with your friends. I love hearing from all you guys. If you have any questions, something that I didn't cover in this video, please send me a comment. I will answer it. And for those that have sent comments, and I didn't get back to you fast enough, I do apologize. So with that, I'm gonna let you guys go. And remember, it's just a hot tub in your backyard. It blows bubbles and it heats up. Don't go crazy, everybody. Have a great day.